Okay, um, my name is Kirsten and I'm the Head of Education at Buzu, which is the world's largest social network for language learning. So we have 70 million students all around the world and they are learning 12 different languages with us. So Buzu is designed for adult language learners who maybe can't travel to the country where they're learning or don't have the time or the resources to get to traditional classroom-based language lessons. So we aim to be a super convenient, all-encompassing self-study resource which you can access online or through your mobile app. Um, and we provide self-study language learning courses in 12 different languages, but importantly, we also provide access to a huge community of native speakers. Um, and when Buzu first started, we were quite focused on um, the web and on video-based chats. Um, and what we found was that actually a lot of language learning students, the majority of them were saying to us, this is too much for me. This is this is scary. I don't want my my first and my my most of my interactions to be taking place with a relative stranger over video. I want something a little less terrifying. Um, so what we've arrived at is uh, an exercise that we call conversations, uh, which is available on your mobile app and on the website. And what you do is you choose to either write or record your voice in response to a prompt. So that could be a question, a very pre precise question, like um, describe uh, how you're feeling today, or it could be something more general, like introduce yourself. And you can record your voice, and you can re-record as many times as you like, or you can write an answer and submit that answer as many times as you like. We give you hints if you get a bit stuck. Uh, and then our algorithm pairs you with multiple people in the community who are native speakers of the language you're learning. And generally, if you're a premium customer at Buzu, you get a correction or multiple corrections within a few minutes. Um, and this is something that our customers really value and really appreciate because they get input from lots of different people um, and they get to hear different native speaker accent via the recording mechanism. Uh, and they get lots of tips and they get lots of encouragement as well. The challenge is motivation. Um, and that is something that we're focused very strongly on at Buzu um, because we understand that the language learning journey is hard. Uh, and one thing that a teacher does provide is that incentive to keep going. And that's why the community is so important to Buzu and why we advise all our new students to make as many connections as they can in the community and to send their exercises to lots of different people um, because it's those connections that really keep you coming back. Um, and the other challenge is just coming back week after week to language learning. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a slow journey quite often. It's not something that you can do in a, in a few weeks. Um, it's something you need to stick at. And the number one reason students tell us that they don't manage to become fluent in a language is because they don't have time. And so we are very focused on designing lessons that they can fit into their schedule and creating a supportive environment in which they feel like they can come back if they've taken a break and they haven't lost everything. Or, you know, if their schedule is, um, is complicated and busy and, and ever changing, that's all right, because they can still fit in some language learning each week and they can still see progress. I think there's um, something like a $60 billion market globally for language learning um, and I think only 5% of that is currently digital language learning um, and that reflects the sort of slow pace of change that happens in education that we see in schools. Um, they're often a fair few years behind the sort of leading technology applications but we are experiencing massive user growth in many different markets around the world. And we see people discovering this method because many people do not know that it's possible to learn a language um, via an app or they're suspicious of it because it's so new, quite rightly. And they want to see, you know, evidence that it's working and they want to see other people telling them this is a good idea. And that is happening. Um, but it's slow. Um, and I, I fully suspect that that 
piece of the 60 billion pie is going to be much more digital in five to ten years than it is now, as we've seen in other industries.